In the ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia, drone warfare has become a crucial element on the battlefield. Ukraine has effectively utilized drones to target Russian soldiers, armored vehicles, and military infrastructure. These drone strikes, often conducted using commercial and military-grade UAVs, have caused significant damage to Russian forces. Then let's watch and analyze the footage together. A group of Russian soldiers has gone out for reconnaissance, unaware that they are being watched. This is truly ruthless. Ukraine eliminates this unit without suffering any losses. The survivors are trying to hide, but another attack is on the way. None of them are alive anymore. Especially in such open terrains, these soldiers have almost no chance of survival. The remaining two soldiers are visible. They seem to be seriously injured or in a state of shock. Here we see a Russian vehicle. It looks like a transport vehicle carrying Russian troops. In a moment, it will face a kamikaze drone. As the footage becomes clearer, it turns out that this vehicle is actually a camouflaged tank. The inevitable end is coming. The drone strikes the front of the tank with a kamikaze attack. Once again, a lone Russian tank trying to camouflage itself in a strange way. Looking at its movement direction, it seems that the crew inside has no idea what they are doing. This war and its technology show us that tanks are defenseless against these small tactical strike technologies. It's clear how difficult it is to defend against FPV drones in open terrain. What do you think should be done to combat this situation? Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. This tank in the footage appears to be a Russian T-80 tank. Once again, the same tactic is used. An explosion is detonated at the front of the tank, the only vulnerable spot for an attack. There's no chance of survival. There are two Russian vehicles in the footage. Once again, they are moving through open terrain, completely defenseless. FPV drones are typically high-precision, highly maneuverable devices. Operators view real-time footage from the drone's camera through goggles or a monitor, which gives them the feeling of being inside the drone. Kamikaze FPV drones can be built with low cost and are capable of quick deployment. These drones are equipped with explosive payloads and are directed toward specific targets. Upon reaching the target, the drone crashes and detonates. Their small size and high speed make them difficult to detect by radar, and their maneuverability allows them to make attacks from very close range, which drastically reduces the chances of defense. It's not just the mobility of the vehicles that is eliminated. Additionally, multiple attacks on the same target also result in the death of the soldiers inside. The positions dug by Russian soldiers are discovered, and attacks are carried out on these underground shelters. Although they have camouflaged these hiding spots well, they have no defensive power. Any kamikaze drone can completely destroy these weak shelters. Unmanned aerial vehicles using thermal imaging sensors are detecting Russian soldiers hiding in their positions. You can see the Russian soldiers trying to escape. Now we're back to the weakest part of this open terrain. In this situation, their chances of survival are really low. There's nowhere to run. At this point, it has turned into a hunt. Bombs are starting to be dropped on the Russian soldiers. 
In open terrain, Russian soldiers are extremely vulnerable due to the lack of cover and the limited defensive options available to them. Unlike urban environments where soldiers can take shelter behind buildings or natural structures, open fields and plains leave them exposed to aerial surveillance and attacks. The rise of drone warfare further exacerbates this vulnerability. FPV, first-person view drones equipped with explosives, can strike from unpredictable angles and avoid detection, making it difficult for soldiers to defend themselves. With little or no time to react, they become easy targets for precision strikes. Additionally, traditional defense systems designed to protect against larger threats like airstrikes or artillery are less effective against small, fast-moving drones. The combination of open terrain, limited cover, and advanced drone technology makes soldiers in these conditions highly susceptible to rapid and precise attacks. These images are quite shocking. A Russian soldier notices the drone and tries to escape from it, starting a chase. It's almost like a cat and mouse game. The Russian soldier tries to throw himself into the trenches for cover, but he's already exhausted. There's nowhere left to run. These images are truly ruthless. Another Russian soldier is desperately trying to escape from a drone while taking cover in the trenches. But as we know, this is open terrain, and once he's exposed, there's no chance of survival. The vulnerability of soldiers in such conditions becomes painfully clear, trapped between limited shelter and relentless aerial threats. This soldier tries to shoot the drone with his weapon at the last moment, but he fails. His desperate attempt highlights the helplessness soldiers face against such advanced, fast-moving threats. A drone equipped with thermal imaging detects their body heat and, with this view, drops bombs on the Russian soldiers. The use of such technology makes it nearly impossible for soldiers to escape, as their every move is tracked and targeted. Bombs continue to be dropped on them again and again. The relentless nature of the attack leaves them with no chance to escape or defend themselves. Now you'll see a very clear image. An infantry transport vehicle carrying Russian soldiers gets detected by the drone's radar. The mobility of the Russian transport vehicle is disabled. They make a few attempts, but the vehicle can no longer move. The Russian soldiers inside begin to disembark and run towards the woods in an attempt to save themselves. However, we know that a grim end awaits them where they are running. Don't forget to share your thoughts on why Russian military tactics and advancements have been so ineffective in the comments. See you again soon.